How's it going, you guys? This is Chronicle Absolute. My name is Dion. We're, we're, we're going to go ahead and do another uh, trip plan on this next load that I have here. Um, I was originally supposed to pick pick this load up from the customer uh, no later than, uh, I think, like 1700 today. But I, I tried to tell them yesterday I'm going to run out of hours. I'm not going to be able to actually do it. And they um, finally did something today. So um, what's happened is that someone else will actually pick it up for me, bring it over here to reserve, and then I'll take it from reserve and shoot it out to Spartanburg, South Carolina. Um, we're, we're just going to go ahead and get into this thing here. Um, this right here is 1730. I'm working off a recap. So I've got seven and a half hours on my 70 right now. And then right there, you see where it says nine hours and 51 minutes. Let's don't make this hard on you, right? Just, just, just round it up, you know, or, or round down. It's just a few minutes, right? So, uh, that calculates to 1730 reason being is because I get, I got seven and a half right now. And then at midnight, I get the nine hours and 51 minutes again, just rounding it. So 1730, just to make it easy on, on, on me, since I know for a fact that somebody else will, um, uh, pick it up for me. I'm, 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 I'm just going to start my day tomorrow at about five o'clock because lately I've been starting my day at like midnight 30 and one 30 and two 30 morning. I want some more sleep, right? So, uh, let's just go ahead and get into this thing right here. Since I know for a fact that more than likely it should be here waiting on me by the time I get up, I'm just going to say, Hey, I'm starting my day at five o'clock in the morning just cause that's the um, time that I normally start. Five plus two is seven. Seven translates into 1900 military time, right? Bam. That's my 14. Visually speaking, that's my 14. Now, I'm calculating 13 hours just to drive. Cool. So, we know that we got to do a pre-trip in the morning, 30-minute pre-trip. And then I'm just going to count out 13 hours, right? So, one, two, three, four, five, fuel break. Six, seven, eight. Let's go ahead and do nine. Nine. Okay, nine hours right there in my day at 15.30. 15.30 translates into 3.30 in the morning. I could potentially start my day at 3.30 in the morning, but not going to. Why is that? Well, because I've already driven nine hours right there, so that's another four hours that I need to drive in order to get to my customer. Um, and the appointment is at 7.40. Well, Basically, basically 745, but I went on to Google. I typed in the um, location and looked at some of the reviews. There is a possibility that I might be there, even though I would be on time. There's a possibility that I might be there for several hours. So, um, but I'll, I'll just say 730. So, one, two, three. Uh, that right there is going to be tight. One, two, three and a half. That's going to be tight. So I calculated 13 hours. This right there is is like 12 hours and 30 minutes. If I'm see nine, 10, 11, 12 and a half hours. Yeah, 12 and a half hours. Okay. So what I could potentially do is start my day just a little sooner because I ended my day today at like 11:30. I think it was. I drove all night basically, and so I could start my day a little sooner, so that I've got more time right here to drive. It, if that makes any sense. And, and, and by sooner, I would say, you know, four to maybe four 30, but that's going to give me more time right here on the front end to make sure that I can get it there. Now, with that being said, the appointment is at seven 45. If I get it there at seven 30, that's, that's 15 minutes time just to wait around. Problem is that based off of the reviews, if you get there at like seven 30, apparently the um, security guard is pretty rude and, she fusses at you and she makes you back up on the street just to park and stuff like this. So, you know, in this case, it, it might be a good idea just to arrive like on time slightly late just because of that. However, I don't know how many other drivers might be there waiting on to, you know, get in and get loaded slash unloaded. But anyway, so we'll say 730. I'll just kind of wing it. Uh, and then... Uh, Normally, a load or unload is about two hours. I'm going to put down two, but based off what I saw, I'm going to add another hour just in case. And then from there, I got to drive like 15 miles away to a tank wash. And that's going to be about 30 minutes tops. Get over there, give myself one hour 
just to drop the um a uh, uh, trailer, wash any possible hoses and fittings, all that kind of stuff, and then I'm good. So I'm gonna say, let's see if I start my day at 3:30, which I will have to. <laughs> so 3:30 plus two is 5:30. 5:30 translates into 17:30 military time. So my 70 is a 1730. I got to figure out what my 14 hours is. So that's one, two, three, four, five and a half hours on my 14. Uh, my drive time, what did I say? I'm going to change this up a little bit. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do the, um, just cause I don't like that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to say three o'clock in the morning. I'll, I'll change it up here too though. But we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that right there. So three, four, five. And that's seventeen hundred. One, two, three, four, five hours. Yep. Five hours. I'm a fourteen. Uh, my drive time. I got four hours right there. Four from um, eleven is seven. However, I'm not going to use seven because I can only work as much as my 14 hours will let me in this case is five so on my drive time i'm going to save five hours as well and then at this point i'm going to go back up here to my 70 i've got 17 hours and 30 minutes right there right and i need to add more time because i got the seven hours and i got yeah add another six and a half hours to that because on the day following i get six hours and 30 minutes so 30 or 30 plus one 17 18, 19, 21, 22, 23. That's a total of 23 hours. So 23 minus uh, the um, 13 hours drive time makes that 10. 10 minus uh, one hour right there. And then I'll say two hours, just be on the safe side. So I've got a total of eight hours on my 70. Cool. Let's, let's, let's get this right quick. Let's get it right quick. So what we have is five and five and eight. Hope that makes sense. Hope this makes sense for you. Five hours on my drive, five hours on my 14, and eight hours on my 70. And my, my next available time is 12 o'clock, as well as my next available location, because I'll be going to a tank wash. It's called um, National Tank Service or National Tank Washing or... or Something like that. I, I don't think I've, I've been there before at all. So I'll be driving over there. So that's my next little time as well as location. And then I'll have this time left on my uh, 11, my 14, and then my 70. So I hope that helps. Um, and yeah, I hope it helps. So anyway, until next time, you guys be good. Be safe in all that you do. Bye.